shop. Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is... Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight we're bringing you the five best picture nominees for the 1949 Oscar Prize. That next brings us to a wartime drama released by 20th Century Fox titled 12 O'Clock High. It starts Gregory Peck at age 33, Greg playing the commander of an American bomber group stationed in England, one which took severe losses over the skies of Germany during the war. But the film isn't really about bombing raids. It isn't even about the men who flew in those raids. Instead, 12 O'Clock High looks at the senior officers who commanded the bomber groups and the angst and extreme pressures they suffered by having to constantly send men to their deaths. The commander Gregory Peck plays in the movie is a by-the-book military man who takes a really hard-line, high-discipline stance with his men, trying to toughen them up for the hardships he knows they'll face in the war. He's based on a real man, in fact, Air Force General Frank Armstrong, who directed the first American daylight bombing raids against Germany. Now, this is a, a far different war film than audiences were used to seeing in the 1940s. During the war years of 1942 through 1945, Films about that period were really designed to build morale on the home front. So 99% of the time, the movie showed the men fighting in a very heroic manner. But in the post-war years of the late 40s, a whole new wave of movies began taking a much more cynical look at war, showing the stress and the fears that both fighting men and their commanders often went through. Some of the films weren't successful, but 12 O'Clock High was one which worked, and the public embraced it. And not only was it one of the year's five nominees as the Best Picture of 1949, Gregory Peck was nominated as Best Actor, and Dean Jagger won the Academy Award as the year's Best Supporting Actor for his performance as a major named Stubble. So now, directed by Henry King, also with Gary Merrill, Hugh Marlowe, and no women, except for a brief glimpse of a nurse played by Joyce McKenzie. Here's 12 O'Clock High. <laughs> 